Hi, good morning. Welcome to this uh, ISO Builder. There is a topic on Discord about DWM. And you see, you have all these Bs, right? Arconics B ISOs. It's an ISO that you build yourself, and I have them all in a virtual machine. So, DWM advice don't start with DWM if you're new to Linux, right? Start with something simpler. First steps from Windows, XFC maybe, or Cinnamon, or something desktop related. Then later maybe a tiling winner manager. But first, not DWM as a tiling winner manager. First get i3 or BSBWM or awesome or Qtile, but something that's easier than DWM. This is really is how they say that. They have this wonderful saying, on their website in suckless.org, the name alone, right? Suckless. Huh? So there is the information from the developer. There is the information of the project Arconix. As usual, you go and look for what information can I find about a particular desktop and learn. So 16 articles just about uh, DWM and decide what you need and focus on the things that you want to know. So at this point in time, we can have a look. There's a release of 2022, 01, 07. 6.3 has been released. How's the, how about updates, right? The machine was last booted up on January 28, that's today. So January 16, that's not so long ago. So probably, well, it's Arch, so, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's Arch. So a lot of updates coming in. You see here the update also of minus 610, and that's already documented in videos about the, where are you Linux firmware, when's here and the Linux firmware, the split up of the package into different packages. So that's why you have less stuff installed. So the update is doing its, its job. We'll have a look at DWM 6.3. It's released. So you keep appraised of the news that's on here about the changes maybe. We can download this one, that one, SD is there, SD is a terminal. So suckless.org, I wanted to look for the name, right? Uh, other quality software focused on simplicity, clarity, and frugality. I have to Google that, what that means. Read more about our philosophy and join us. So philosophy, uh, suck, software that sucks less. That's the, the sentence I was looking for, right? Software that sucks less. <laughs> Suck less. So lots of things to go and read. There is also the, was it the hacking? Where was it again? Where we find in DWM maybe? Here he is. Some more elements about DWM himself. So customization, dynamic window management, frequent ask questions, multi-monitor, and of course, that's the fun, the patches. So lots of patches. Lots of them won't work. Lots of them will work. Lots of them combined will not work. So it really is an and a test and a trial and error thing to see if something works. So we've done our um, exercise in that regard. And we said, look, I believe we even have a file that says config article DWM. That's our thing that we've developed this, this we, we gave you, we give you the code, the original code of what? Of the application, right? This what you're running here, Control T, which what we're working on, what what's what's doing this is that little thing, three letters and use a local bin DWM. That's running. This is not running. This is the code to create a executable called DWM. So if you want to change some things, and that's documented in the video then um, it's here I need to run it to build it again and somebody told me uh, something about how to start on uh, discord 
And uh, before we do that, maybe let's have a look at the pseudo Pacman minus S Q Q is also good. DWM was not found. Obviously, Eric, obviously. Is it good? How do we call it? <laughs> Arco Linux and then DWM git. That's the name. So 21.10.15 at that particular moment in time, we've created our code. So it's a good thing. And that's maybe some, some other video. Another uh, is to have a look at the new code that was released in January and have a new build. But as you see, and that's the fun with DWM and as a result also with um, Dusk, which is a fork of DWM and ALCI.online has also a version of DWM. The thing is, it just keeps working, right? It just works. And that's of course something nice. Even if there are updates, the old version of DWM just works. You can keep working on this code and keep changing things and colors and, and so on and build the package again. So you have a user local, uh, where was it? Eh? User local bin, I think, DWM, and it will launch. So the code in here is the code when we developed everything and then from time to time we update things. The question here was how to start .sh. Ooh, right. This is always minimal. Arcolinks B's are minimal. So no editor present. Pseudo Pacman minus S. And then we take sublime text from our repo. And then we open things. So the videos I've made about tiling window manager and dual screens Again, here we are looking at code from XRender telling, look, to the left is this and to the right is that and all the names it could have. On the virtual box, there's not much to see. And first of all, there is just one monitor, right? VGA-1, that's it. But on real machines, it's called HDMI-1 or HDMI-1 or-0 and so on and so on. So there are some well, examples up there, so you know, hey, uh, I can add my own X render to this code and then it will just apply. Does this work? So somebody says the auto start doesn't work, right? Varieties here. There is backband, uh, BAMAC, there is sound, and there is a network manager. And that's the last one I said is this one, network manager applet. BAMAC tray, that's number two there. Varieties, number one in icons, XFCE, XFCE4 power manager is in the background somewhere running. How do we know? Control shift escape. Control shift escape power. Okay, it's running. And then super Q. It's out. Gone again. So the blueberry tray, I don't have any blue tray, but otherwise it would have a nice little icon for a blueberry uh, connection there. Notification daemon, so Spotify changes the song, boom, you got a nice uh, notification what number is playing. This we need in Tiling Winner Managers, Control Alt T, uh, sorry, Control Alt E, I mean, right? This is Polkit. This is the tweak tool asking, hey, you need to become root. And that kicks in. If that doesn't kick in, you have not installed or you have not launched this line. Yeah, you need to install the Polkit GNU you know, authentication uh, Polkit. Show it, Eric. Show it. Minus S Polkit. Top tap, right? This is it. That's your choice. You go for GNOME, you go for KDE agent, and uh, you have to choose. We've chosen GNOME in many of our tiling when I manage this. We want something transparent. So transparency, ah, uh, that's Pycom. Used to be Compton. Now it's renamed Pycom. Where is it? There, config, arco, somewhere in here, Compton, C, 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 C. Where is it? Inside 
rkdwm, pycom.conf, I'm missing it, here it is, the orange guy. This is something strange maybe for some people, numlock on, right? Um, extra numeric pad, we want to have our numlock on, otherwise they become arrows and things like that. So it's on and the volume icon, that's up here again. Now, as I'll state this, yeah, that's, that's these guys up here. So some information about your system, the key bindings, the sexy hotkey demon, as we call it with uh, a smile. So the simple X hotkey demon. And some conkeys, if we want to have a conkey to show people, look, uh, that's those are the keyboard shortcuts, uh, have backgrounds, nitrogen is not used, but variety is there. And this one is used. So that's the background that's set with fade to be really sure that we start in the beginning when you install everything. That we do have the Arco wallpaper for sure. And um, some other things, right? So if you want to change things, if you say, hmm, I want to have every single time, right? I put up, I want to have Discord because, yeah, I want to communicate with the guys at Dark Links and I want to have Telegram desktop too. So this guy is chit chat, right? Telegram is chit chat and Discord is really Arc Links related or Arch Links related. And today it's also AA related and it's ALCI related. So it's it's related to Arcanlex project. Save. That's all you need to do. But make sure you have saved it. So this 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 button up there, the white thing there, shows me I have not saved it. I press some wrong buttons. So Control S and then it changes. So an X tells me ah, finally it's saved. So I'm asking him to start Discord and start Telegram. How to auto start applications. Control X, I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna log back in. And I'm gonna see if it's launching. Now, there's of course one thing I forgot. This is a bare minimal backlinks B. So, I need to install Discord and Telegram. So in Articlex Excel, it's there. Here, it's not. Now, if you don't want to see the conky, which bothers me because it's such a nice wallpaper, right? Super, see, it's out, it's gone. F12 is a drop down, but you can have also Control T and there is a super enter and there's a Control Alt enter and it's all okay. And this one is ST, the suckless terminal. This one is UrixVT. If you want a a la Critty, super shift D a la Critty. Another one. And this one is still the issue with the line there, right? We did our update. What did we not do? Our scale. Boom, solved. So the code is in etc scale. When I do scale, it copies copy pastes over to your home directory. Good code is in. Boom, solved. Now I need to have, if I want to show you that the auto start works, I need to install the Discord and Telegram desktop. That's the complete name. And it brings in Qt6 I see as backend. All right, super X logging out. Is the auto start working? To start, quit. That's because of our scale, right? That's because of our scale. Now, Discord is not launched. Let's see why. So, config. How to start. Aha. Every single time you do a, a scale, Everything gets overwritten, right? Remember? Is there no backup? Sure there is. You know there is. Config backup. Oh yeah. Okay. Indeed. There is my backup. Now in this case it's just two hashtags so do, do it away, right? 
but uh, in the other case if it's too complex you install melt so you know pacman this is a minimal one bees are minimal install everything you need so if you got melt you go maybe to somewhere else and then super f5 directory comparison and then you say let's have a look to the dot config that's what I scaled and let's have a look at my backup and compare we changed Allegrity we can immediately see what the changes were we changed the code to window that's how it has to be and we changed it with a new code background opacity that's it that's the line that's why Allegrity was yellow or orange or whatever right that's the error so that's the fix I don't want to see everything that's that's the same all the white things are the same we want to see the differences so these are the differences between before and after and here we have auto start as H check it's back so it's that simple if you do a scale nothing is uh, lost it's saved and there are some things in here that we have changed still okay yeah user local variety less is other things are just not important really so alacrity out of start are the ones that were important and of course this is the same thing so it's ex exactly the same thing so you have always something that works default article links works and you can play around with your own settings and change alacrity yml so that's um, now set, right? Now, <laughs> now, finally, we can log out. So it really is keeping your wits on things, keeping thinking and co using <coughs> common sense. <coughs> because, yeah, everything has to be in place. And then you can start experimenting and uh, keep previous theme. Oh, oh my God, right? And there we go. We have everything available. Everything is launched and uh, you can play around with TWM. Again, guys, this is not for the beginners, right? This is not for the beginners. It will lead to too much uh, support from our side. You really need to get into another tiling window manager, understand that, and then this will become easier to jump into because it is really not uh, that simple. All right, cheers.